I tell stories in American Splendor using panels and balloons, but the content of it is realistic, unlike the content of most uh, comic books, which is uh, fantasy of one, one kind of a, or another, either superheroes flying around or uh, talking ducks or things like that. <laughs> Ever since I was a kid, it seemed I collected something. At one time, it was comics and magazines about sports. Then, when I was 16, I started collecting jazz records. At first, and for a long time, it was a healthy thing to do. I loved jazz and listened to it closely and analytically. Then, for some reason, I got obsessive about it. I was spending all of my money on records. I had to think twice about buying a hamburger or going to a movie. While I was thinking about it, a buddy of mine came over to ask me if he could borrow a couple of rare John Coltrane Airshot LPs to play on his college jazz radio show. He you spare them for a few hours, I'll take good care of them and return them right away. Well, you can use them, but I gotta come down to the studio with you while you do it. While he was on the air, I started to browse through the station's record libraries. I ran across about a half dozen LPs I didn't have and eventually planned to get. I knew that a lot of people ripped off records from that station. So I figured, fuck it, what's the difference? Then I decided I was gonna steal the sides, but I thought I'd be slick about it. First, I checked the bathroom door to make sure it wouldn't lock automatically behind me so I could get back for the sides. Then I stuck the sides in a box of toilet paper. So he finishes playing the Coltrane sides, gives them back to me, and I split. Thanks a lot, man. It's okay. Uh, look, I gotta take off now. So then I make it over to the bathroom to get the sides, but the door is locked. I couldn't believe it. If I had stuck them in a hall someplace, they'd have been okay. No one was gonna come along and see them. But no, I had to get cute and stick them in a toilet paper box in a bathroom. I walked back home in a daze. How could I have been so stupid? What if they find a size in a toilet paper box? Will they suspect me? My head was all fucked up. I sat down and relaxed and think about my situation. This record collecting is driving me nuts. It's taking all of my time and money. No matter how many records I get, I'm never gonna be satisfied. What am I gonna do? This is like being a junkie. But surprisingly, the next day, I still felt fed up with collecting. And what happened was that for some reason, I was able to give it up. It's funny how your mind sometimes works. <laughs>